Hi all, it's Matthew Bode here, back with another South African genealogy tutorial. Today's video will be somewhat uncharacteristic of my channel, but for very good reason. So without further ado, let me delve into my reasoning. Periodically, FamilySearch adds new catalogs to their website. As it so happens, one of my favorite catalogs in FamilySearch are these Eastern Cape estate files. Reason being, a large proportion of my paternal family hail from the Eastern Cape, so naturally I take a keen interest in any new data available for that area. For those among us who've never had the pleasure of perusing an estate file before, they are an, ext an extraordinarily rich source of genealogical data. Most, if not all of these estate files are replete with pertinent vital facts such as birth, marriage and death dates and places, hence my delight every time a new catalogue is uploaded. Now, in my naivety, each time an additional year of estate files was added, I would manually consult pertinent branches of my family tree for ancestors, aunts, uncles and other collateral relatives who died in that particular year and province in order to commence tracing their estate files. A tedious task I now realise. So, in order to mitigate the amount of time spent wading through individual profiles, I decided to consult my desktop software, sorry, my desktop um, family tree software, my software of choice being Family Tree Maker, to find a more efficient way of going about this endeavor. Fortunately, I was successful in doing so, so please take a moment to follow the steps in this tutorial in the hopes it'll add a layer of simplicity to your genealogical research. Alright, so now we are in Family Tree Maker. As mentioned earlier, Family Tree Maker is my family tree building software of choice. However, many of these family tree building programs are built off the back of Excel and you'll find there's a lot of overlap with the amount of functionality between these programs. So what applies to this tutorial today may apply to programs such as Root Roots Magic. Roots Magic may have even more options for customizability, so it's worth researching. So, the aim of today is to generate a report for all of the individuals within my family tree who died between the years 1962 and 1987. Those years are the years on family search of Eastern Cape estates which are currently available. So in order to do that, in Family Tree Maker, what you'll want to do is go to publish. Once in the publish area, click on collection, scroll down to person reports and click on that. And once in person reports, click on custom report. Now keep in mind, it will automatically generate a report based on the person you are you have currently selected in the people's tab but don't worry about that we can start afresh once in the customized report area and in order to start afresh what we'll need to do is click on select individuals and this is where the magic happens so we can start filtering in the data we want which as mentioned earlier in this case is everyone in my family tree who died between the years 1962 and 1987. So in order to do so, click on filter in, make sure that death is selected, make sure date is selected as well, and under conditions, this is imperative, don't select equals, select contains, and 1962 is correct for our first year, so let's go OK. And you'll see now, everyone in my family tree who died in the year 1962 is in this list, and all we have to do is click Apply, and those individuals will appear. 
in list form here. So now we're going to repeat this process for every other year we are after, which is 1963. Click apply. Nineteen sixty four and so on and so forth. Now I will not be going until nineteen eighty seven because that will bore my audience to tears. Um I'll just export what we have right now, which is the years nineteen sixty two to nineteen sixty four. In order to do so, click on the share button here and click on export to CSV. CSV is a file format which is compatible with Excel and it's also compatible with the software called Numbers if you are a Mac user. Export data as columns, that's fine. And I'll just call this report 1962 to 1964 and we'll save it to my downloads folder. So I won't open it right now. I'll open it from my downloads folder. And in, or, in order to do that, go open with Microsoft Excel. We'll enlarge it. All right. So right now we have the data we want, which is the name, death date, and death place. However, we also have quite a lot of superfluous information, which we can go ahead and get rid of. All right. All we want for our purposes is death date and death place and name. Let's also edit this death date here into a neater format. All right. So we have all the information that we want. However, you'll notice that I've also exported individuals in my family tree who died abroad, places such as Zimbabwe. There may even be a few people who died in England or even further afield than that. And right now, we're really only interested in people who died in the Eastern Cape. So what we can do is filter our data and under death place, we can filter even further and type Eastern Cape. And how wonderful is that? Now we have a list of Everybody in my family tree who died between the years 1962 to 1964 in the Eastern Cape. With this information, I can methodically go through the list, color code each individual whose estate file I have found, and identify individuals whose estate files I'm missing and attempt to locate them. It's worth bearing in mind that not everyone who died in the Eastern Cape will have an estate registered there. And conversely, you'll undoubtedly encounter individuals who die in a different province or country even, whilst on holiday for instance, whose estates were registered in the Eastern Cape. Of course, the same rule applies to every other province in South Africa as well. Also keep in mind, I envisage a myriad of ways in which one can customize reports with each report serving a very different purpose um, but for the sake of today's video, I felt estate files was a good starting point as these files are a resource which South African genealogists use relatively often. I have touched on this in a previous video, but it won't hurt to remind everyone that not all of our relatives left an estate file. Indigent family members or individuals who simply never left any movable or immovable assets which required distribution oftentimes did not leave estates and therefore one can't expect to find an estate file for such individuals among these collections. 
Um, I think I've addressed everything I was hoping to cover today, so I'll leave you all to it. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.